first thing I did is I drew out my animal design. I decided to do a sea turtle. I'm drawing this out in pencil, so if I make any mistakes, I can erase them. So I drew my animal very big. I put it in the middle of the paper so I had lots of room to add in the little details like the face, the shell design, and also the dots on the head and the flippers. Next thing I did is I was thinking about what designs I can put in my negative space or the space around the focal point or the subject of my artwork, which is my turtle. So I decided to do some triangle spiral designs and then I also added some seaweed underneath. So they can be just decorative designs or they could be functional to your creature. So I did some bubbles and some ocean waves, things that, and designs that you would probably see or in the turtle's environment, or you can do something that's more decorative, like these uh, square spirals that I'm doing. And molas have a little bit of both. Sometimes they might have something decorative, or it might be something related to the animal that is the subject of the artwork. So now my negative space is very colored, and now in some of the empty spaces in my subject, I decided to do some designs on the shell, and I gave it a little thing. Something I didn't get the chance to do in pencil that I later will do in marker was to create a little outline around my animal, and this is to give it emphasis because there's a lot going on in our artwork we want to emphasize or make stand out um, our animal. So I'm just making, with my black marker, I'm making a little outline around my creature to make it stand out against all of the stuff going on in the negative space. Also, I decided to outline my animal with this black marker, but when you're outlining over your pencil lines, when you're tracing over your pencil lines, you don't have to use a black marker like we did with our other Zentangle. You can use any kind of colors you want. I decided to go with cool colors since uh, my turtle is in the ocean. I did lots of blues and greens. So I recommend thinking about uh, what colors might be in your animal's environment or what colors work with your creature or what colors might work well together. Now I'm coloring in my design. Like colorful molas, they are nice and solid when they are colored. So I'm pushing really hard with my crayon to get it lots of color and I'm filling in as much of the white space as possible. So I'm gonna continue doing this and color in my shapes, color in my positive space, color in my negative space, and fill in my entire design with color. The color scheme I actually chose using these blues and greens is called an analogous color scheme. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. These colors usually work nicely next to each other because that's where they are on the color wheel. They're similar colors. So I recommend if you want your piece to have unity, which is a principle of art, um, try thinking about using a analogous color scheme, using colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Awesome. Let's make some art.